Brothers and sisters and YouTube family, hope you guys are being blessed. Hi, so today is the 16th. Sorry, I know I haven't been as consistent uh, with the videos as I thought I would. I found myself sometimes days running together or in prayer, and the time is so short because I have to leave and go down to help mother and father at their house and do like um some work down there. And I found myself, my prayers just running into the right the time I have to leave. Uh, you know, the Lord just wills and commands our day, so. Um, I guess he will for this. And so I really want to share my readings quickly today. Um, just really a, an encouragement as well. A lot has happened the past few days since I've missed um, uh, sharing with you guys what's going on in my heart and here in the community. If the Lord wills to, you know, allows me to share it, then I will. I want to share with you today uh, the readings the Lord gave me uh, before I have to go down. I found myself, I woke up today just feeling beat up, like really beat up. Um not last night, the night before, I had to stay here alone by myself. And as I mentioned, the Lord has really had me conquer fears. And um, just once again, bound the things that um, that's that are mountains in my life, you know, and uh, one of the fears, one of the areas I know the Lord's having me conquer once again is um, just fear, once again, of the demonic oppression, not fearing those things or fearing the enemy, what he desires to do. And so sure enough, as I stay by myself, um, the guys went down to the mountain. Mother and father had their dog Prince come here and stay with me. And sure enough, I had an attack. I had a demonic attack where um, I found myself. It was like a dream. I'm going to stay a dream where I was um, before the Lord in the Eucharist. Um, and then before I know it, just something took over me, just like to hold me. You know, it took off my hat. They took off my hat. It was holding me so preciously in my arms. I could just feel it. And I thought, you know, maybe it was, this is a dream. And I'm thinking, like, I feel like a mother, blessed mother. But me, this this particular spirit then began felt diabolical. And sure enough, it was a demon. And I, then I woke up and I was being held down. I wasn't able to move. And the Lord's giving me scriptures about fear and how the enemy comes to steal from us. And one of the areas he uses is fear, our foolish fears, to steal from us the sweet presence of the Lord. Because the whole night I had Jesus here. I had his physical presence here with me. So it was really no need for me to fear. And that was the open door because I feared and walked in unbelief that, the enemy was allowed to enter in and, you know, cause fear again. But I just prayed and, you know, just uh, rebuked him. And I was restless throughout the night. And then um, <clears throat> woke up this morning as well. I had to stay by myself again this night. But we uh, had a great night with Mother and Father last night. And um, I watched this clip uh, from this uh, show called The Chosen. It's an amazing, amazing show. I would encourage every Christian to watch it. And it was so beautiful. And there's a scene about Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, who was oppressed, you know, by demons. And she was so terrified. And then in the scene, Jesus came out of nowhere. And she was drinking this toxin to try to help her just to kind of cope because she was suicidal. And Jesus came and just as she's going to take another drink, he said, no, you don't need that. And she's like, get away from me. The demons started manifesting. And um, she called herself by a different name. And as she ran out of this particular place, you know, to get away from Jesus, Jesus called her by her name. And so he said, Mary Magdalene. And he said, um, you know, Isaiah spoke the words of Isaiah that fear not, do not be afraid. Fear not, for I am with you. I've called you. I know you by name. You are my redeemed. And that rung so hard with me, you know, just knowing that once again, the Lord has changed, gave me a new name. But not only that, not a fear not. I know you by name, and I am with you. I have called you my redeemed. So I could bring it to my mind all night. And as I came all night, and sure enough, I had a peaceful night's, a peaceful night's rest. So I thank the Lord for that. Because I was like, yeah, I'm so sick and tired. Just once again, fear. Fear has to go. And whatever the enemy d d desires to do, I don't want that to move or shake my faith as well. And so, um, and then on top of that, the Lord is lying all type of sufferings as well because my mattress on my bed here had popped a couple days ago. And I told myself, okay, Lord, I'm just going to offer this for many of my homeless brothers and sisters who have to sleep on hard floors, you know, or many all over the world who don't have the luxury of sleeping in nice foamy beds and sleep literally on mattresses on the floor. I can endure this. What hit me this morning when I woke up today? Man, my body feels like I've just been pummeled left and right, and I was feeling so tired and so exhausted. Um, and I asked the Lord, like, give me grace, God, give me strength. As I took the Lord's Supper, I was like, Lord, please give me your strength, you know, because uh, I feel so weary, so tired. And my days can to run together so long. Many times when I'm with mother and father, it's about four or five hours I'm there on my feet. And so, um, yeah, I was just feeling, um, it's like that almost every, it's just been like every single day. 
So I was just asking Lord just for strength, for strength, Lord. And um, for Blessed Mother, I was praying, like, please give me, you know, intercede for me to give me strength. And the readings were just so beautiful, just affirmed everything that the Lord was uh, speaking to my heart. And Blessed Mother heard me too as well, because the situation happened here in this community where I sought Blessed Mother, her intercession, asked please to help assist the situation, and it turned out amazing. And once again, if the Lord wills it, I'll share that with you, the testimony. But I just want to share with you the readings the Lord gave me today, just encourage you, and to let you know that like, He really does hear us, our smallest prayer. So the first reading I got, He gave me is consecrate, concentrate. <laughs> on the sweet and holy presence of God surrounding you in every moment. And I was like, thank you, Lord. And I felt he was like, stop worrying. Stop, because I, once again, worries to come up out of the future. You know, I was just thinking about so many different things driving here in the snow, like not fixated on the moment that I'm in, you know? And a lot of my brothers here, um, it's just only me and Brother Joseph, everyone left for the holidays to go back to their families. And I know that for me, the Lord hasn't released me to go at all, you know, to go back to the world until he says so. So I feel like he was telling me, I'm right here with you, concentrate on my sweet presence around you. Despite what you're feeling, the worries, you know, maybe feeling lonely, missing family, family, consecrate on my presence. I'm with you. And the second one, <laughs> which I love so much, it says, you see what she can do when you ask for her prayers. Ask her to cover you with her angels and help you overcome your Black Panther, Blessed Mother's Intercession. And this reading is from um, Mother Claire's, uh, one of her messages. And this is so important because I said a situation happening here in the community. And I saw it. I cried out to bless the mother to please assist and help the situation and turn out so beautifully. And so last night I was just in Thanksgiving before the Lord and bless the mother. And it's just amazing how I feel the Lord's reminding me. See what you see what she can do. Her intercession. I'm telling you, intercession is so powerful. <laughs> Bless the mother is a wonderful prayer partner, and I, the Lord is also admonishing me to ask to help uh, to to deal with my Black Panther. And Black Panther is like avarice or greed, you know. And so I was wondering, I was asking, I was like, hmm. So when I got this, I was like, okay, Lord, I'm not saying I'm without greed for sure, but I know that um I don't really I'm not really a compulsive buyer. I don't buy really anything, but I think that Black Panther is just the lust of my flesh, the things I'm compulsively lusting after. And a lot of times it's food. The Lord's killing my flesh here really with abstinence. So I'm really gonna ask you to really help me to abstain from things that the Lord doesn't desire and really to overcome that Black Panther, which once again is any type of greed. It doesn't have to be greed of money. It just to be greed of things. Once again, greed of food, anything that's lustful, you know. So I have to overcome my flesh. So that's what we pray and asking her for. And her intercession is powerful. And these two readings just touch once again everything I was crying out and how I'm feeling like Lord, why am I feeling so beat up today? You know, and the first the uh the third rainbow card I got was the devil tried to throw him down and having nowhere to flee, and he commanded himself to God, who never lets his servants be tried more than he can endure. The rock turned to wax, receiving his hands. And this is actually from St. Francis Om Omnibus. This actually happened to St. Francis, literally. The devils had tried to throw him down on some rocks, and uh, the, he had nowhere to go. So when he fell, the Lord allowed the rocks to turn to wax to catch him. Isn't that amazing? That's what takes I'm telling you, the Lord does miraculous things. But I feel the Lord is reminding me, telling me, Nana, everything that you're going through right now, yes, is attack of the enemy. But just, and you have nowhere to flee besides running to the arms of God. And know that whatever, whatever the enemy intends, to, that may be a really rough situation. I love that God's going to turn to wax. That whatever situation that the enemy intends to have me just encounter that it will turn to wax and actually be for my good. When I say turn to wax, that means that the the fall or whatever hit is going to be as hard as the enemy intends uh, to have, um, the enemy wishes upon me. God is able to um, turn whatever situation, you know, and turn around for his good. And so I believe that with what I'm feeling, the attacks that are happening in the nighttime, you know, uh, this weariness, this feeling like my body just beat up, that's this, this all the, um, the Lord is, taking using all of this all for his glory but definitely is an enemies and tax and knowing that I love what he said that god never gives his servants more than they can endure and so i know he gave me grace to endure all that i'm feeling and all that i'm going through and the last reading was this suffering is for the sake of another soul carry the cross the great tenderness and i was like wow so indeed it is a cross that the lord is allowing me to carry in my body um, the attacks of my mind with fear and also to the the demonic oppression that this is all a suffering the Lord is allowing for grace of another cross and that's why we're here that's why I'm here praying for everything before the feet of the Lord interceding that souls may come to him and with s s prayer sacrifice comes and a lot of times he allows us to carry the sufferings to back up our prayers so that souls may be one and so I just want to encourage you once again if your heart is praying to seeing for souls 
you're pointing you just love Jesus and you're going through a difficult time or trial, know that it is a suffering. It's a cross and it's for another soul, just like when Jesus was carrying the cross and Simeon came to help him. You know, Simon's cross. Simeon, Simon came to help Jesus carry the cross. That's why the Lord allows sufferings in our lives um, in order for us to carry, to help carry the cross for another soul who may be going through a really difficult time and um, we're able to come and come alongside them and bear some of that suffering, that splinter of that cross. And that's what the Lord is allowing me to carry right now. So I thank him for, I, I just thanked him for that grace and ask Blessed Mother for the strength to carry this cross and the grace once again to do the Lord's will. So I pray that this kind of encouraged you. <laughs> and um, if you're going through the exact same similar situation, just be encouraged. Be encouraged that whatever the enemy is trying to throw at you, the Lord will not give you uh, more than you can endure. You know, his help and his ability, his strength is equal to the trial that you're going through. And the trial that you're going through is for another soul. It could be a soul that's very close to you. You're praying for salvation of a family member, a friend, or a loved one. You're praying for a nation. You're praying for a situation, for a ministry. Uh, you're just praying in your heart before the Lord. A lot of times he, he will allow a cross uh, for you to bear in order to, um, once again, uh, that grace. When you carry that cross, it releases grace for the salvation of souls as well. So um, the souls are being one. You know, when we really take up our cross and follow Jesus and embrace it with tenderness rather than complaining and being so frustrated about it. So I thank the Lord because he stopped my complaint because I was asking him, please forgive me for complaining and murmuring. So I just want to pray for you guys and bless you guys. Father, I just thank you so much for my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for your love, your tender kindness, your mercy. Thank you so much for your wonderful mother who's an amazing intercessor. intercessor. Thank you for your sweet presence all around us. And so we just ask right now, Lord God, all those who are watching, my brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, God, I just cover them with your blood, Lord. I pray for those right now, Father God, who may be in a, a valley, those who may be in a dry season, God, I pray you give them the grace to concentrate on your sweet, holy presence surrounding them in each and every single moment. And the times where it seems like nothing is going on, that you are there, Lord. And that's what it's all about. You are the great reward. It's your sweet presence surrounding them. I pray for those right now, Father God, to come and entrust the you know, intercession of your mother, Lord. I release the spirit of religious and bigotry spirit that continues to quench the spirit of God moving through your mother in heaven, Lord God, to bring about that salvation and graces for many of your sons and daughters for the church. For she, she's a mother to the church. So I pray, Father God, my life may be a testimony that many can go to her, Father God. Many can come alongside with her, Lord God, stand hand in hand, in hand with her and praying together with her, Lord God, for intercession for their lives, the lives of the family members, the loved ones, the nations, and the world. Lord God, to see that how intercession truly is powerful, moves the heart of the Father, and I pray that you would help, bless the mother, that you will intercede for everyone watching this video, all my YouTube subscribers, all your sons and daughters, bless the mother, that they would come to seek you for intercession, and they'll come to see the power of intercession, and most importantly, bless the mother, that you'd help not only myself, but them as well, have your angels surround them, and help us all to overcome our avarice, overcome our greed and lust for things of this world. Please, bless the mother, help us. And I also ask right now, Lord God, for those who are being tried and tested, those who the devil is continued pounding, whether it was lies, with tests, with trials, uh, with demonic oppression, with, demo with every type of attack possible. Possible. Lord, I pray right now that you give them grace to endure. I pray right now, Father God, that you see these tests and trials, these uh, these situations as your sweet crosses that you're allowing them to bear for the sake of souls all around them. So I pray, uh, Lord, that you give us all grace to bear up our cross and bear it with great tenderness, with the joy and with the love and with the heart of gratitude and thankfulness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, God bless you guys. Love you guys. Until hopefully tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude.